Hello everyone, today I'm going to walk you through a Chrome extension I've created called ChatGPT Custom Instruction Storage. It is completely free and can be found in the Chrome Web Store. This Chrome plugin gives you the ability to store your custom instructions locally in your Chrome browser to easily interchange them depending on your task. Now let's dive in. Head over to chat.openai.com. Now to access the custom instructions menu for ChatGPT, you can simply click on your account and click on custom instructions, or you can just use the shortcut keys, control, shift, and I. Now with the custom instructions page open, you will see a drop-down menu has been added to both the custom instruction boxes. If we click on the add a prompt button, this will open up the option to store your prompt. First, we give it a name, and then we provide the prompt that we would like to store. Since I would like to save this prompt in the first box labeled, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses, let's scroll down and select that option. Now let's click on save. Now if we scroll back up to the first box, we can click on the select a stored prompt option and select the prompt we just stored. Now let's do the same for the second box. Click on add prompt again. Here's a quick pro tip. If you see a search history come up once you click on a box, you can just simply hover your mouse over the word and then hold the control shift and press the delete key. And this will delete the word from your history. Now let's provide the name and let's also provide the prompt. Now we're gonna select the proper category and now let's click on save. Now let's scroll up to the second instruction box and select the drop down menu and let's select the prompt we just added and click on save. And there we have it. And that's how you can store your prompts using the ChatGPT custom instruction store. Now if you would like to delete a custom instruction, just simply select the custom instruction you would like to delete and then click on the delete button here. And now you can see the custom instruction has been removed from the list. If you guys have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this kind of content, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.